Science Museum. Pepper and her playgroup are visiting the museum. This way, children. Follow me. Here is Miss Rabbit. Hello, everyone. Has anyone ever been to a museum before? Yes. Good. Then you know that in a museum you can look but not touch. Because everything in a museum is very delicate. Oops. Yes, these old things break easily. But today, we're going to visit the Science Museum. Here, you can touch everything. Yay! Buttons to press. Wow! <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> Ooh, spooky. Pull on that rope and try to lift the weight. <sighs> it's too heavy. Now try that rope with the pulleys on it. Wow, now it's easy. <gasps> My goodness, how does that work? Well, it's... Um... The system increases the mechanical advantage proportionally to the number of pulleys. Yes. That's what I was going to say. My little brother Edmund is super clever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, a tube. Hello, Susie Sheep here. Oh, where are you? I am here. Where? I can't see you. Let's find the end of the tube. <laughs> here I am. <laughs> Or maybe in the future, this could be used for talking to people a long way away. You mean like a telephone? Oh, uh, yes. Telephones exist already, don't they? <laughs> magic balloons! Get your magic balloons here! Are they really magic balloons? Uh, no. Not really, but they're still pretty amazing. Want to see? Yes, please! All we need to do is rub it like this and then... The balloon is sticking to the wall. Magic! No, not magic, but static. How does it work? No idea. Protons are said to have a charge of plus one electron unit, while electrons have a charge of minus one. Which explains static. What does that bang? Hello, children! Here is Grumpy Rabbit. Now it's time for some dangerous science. <laughs> Don't be alarmed. There is a responsible adult in charge. Me. Who wants to ride in this rocket? Me, 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 me. Pepper, kindly jump in. Um, are you sure this is completely safe? Of course it's safe. Now, Pepper, put your hands against mine. On the count of three, push. One, two, three, push! Wow! I'm moving! Yes! That's called propulsion! Ah! But real rockets use rocket fuel to blast off. Who wants to fly in this rocket? Me! me, me. It has to be someone small. There's not much room inside. I'm small! Perfect. In you get, Edmund. And uh, this is completely safe for children, too? Yes. The rocket just flies itself. No, I meant... Off you go. Oh, my goodness! Woohoo! Woo! <laughs> Lucky the museum has a high ceiling. <laughs> That is how rocket propulsion works. That was fun. It was brilliant. It was, uh, unbelievable. <laughs> Pepper loves the science museum. Everyone loves the science museum. Jukebox. Pepper and George have been sailing with Granny and Grandpa Pig. All ashore. Aye, Captain. <laughs> I'm rather thirsty. Shall we have a juice in the clubhouse? Yes, please. Ah, uh, the clubhouse is a bit stuffy, Grandpa Pig. Not much fun for Pepper and George. That's all right, Granny. We only want a juice. 
It is very quiet in the clubhouse. Could we have four fruit juices, please? Do you have a membership card, sir? Of course. Very good, sir. Here are Mr Stallion and Mrs Corgi. Ah, Grandpa Pig. Good to see you, old bean. Shh. Sorry. What are all these people doing here, Granny? I don't know, Peppa. Mostly sleeping, I think. Oh, what's this? It's a jukebox. <laughs> it plays music. I like music. But it looks like this one hasn't played music in a long time. Four fruit juices. Thank you, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> a jukebox. Yes. But it's not playing music. It might play music if we put a coin in. Uh, we don't want to disturb anybody. Oh, Grandpa. <coughs> there wouldn't be a jukebox here if they didn't want us to play it. I suppose so. Let's choose something quiet. Of course. Coin, please. Thank you. Ooh. Now, where's the rock and roll music? <coughs> Here we are. Rock and roll. <laughs> this <laughs> is rock and roll music. Come on, George. Let's dance. We're going to roll, roll, roll. Rock and roll. We're going to rock. What's all this noise? I am so sorry. Yes, here you should be. Disco music is what you want to play. Disco music? I'll show you. Have you got a coin? Of course. Thank you. Here we go. Get ready to groove on down. This is disco music. Groove on down to the disco town. <laughs> Why don't you play something good? So, what do you think is good music, then? Hip-hop. Has anyone got a coin? Grandpa has coins. OK, here you go. With a hip and a hop, you got a hip-hop. This is hip-hop music. With a hip and a hop, you got a hip-hop. Well, I never. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Corby is dancing like a robot. Wow! Look at that! With a hip and a hop, you got a hip hop. With a hip and a hop, you got a hip hop. Is somebody having a party? It is Grampy Rabbit. Excuse me, sir, but are you a member? No, but I'm with him. Uh, hello, Grampy Rabbit. Hi there. I heard music. We found a jukebox. Does he play my kind of music? And what, dare I ask, is your kind of music? Heavy metal, of course. And I suppose you need a coin. Thanks, old chap. This is heavy metal music. This is the only music to dance to. <laughs> Grampy Rabbit loves dancing to the jukebox. Everybody loves dancing to the jukebox. TV Land. Pepper and her friends are watching their favourite television programme, Super Potato. Hoo-ha! Am I a bird? Am I a plane? No! I'm a potato! <laughs> <laughs> I love watching Super Potato! Me too! Super Potato is the best! Hoo-ha! Fruit and vegetables keep us alive! Always remember to eat your five! Always remember to eat your five! We've seen this before! I know all the words by heart! Yes, they show the same story again and again and again. Brilliant, isn't it? Yes, and we will remember all of the words forever. Yes, we remember all of the words forever. 
<laughs> Everyone is so tiny on TV. In real life, they are big. How are they big and tiny? And how do they get in our TV? It's some sort of magic. It's not magic, it's science. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. <laughs> Would you all like to see how they make TV? Yes, yes please. please. OK, let's go to TV land. This is TV land. Stop! Do you work here? Um, no. Then I'm afraid you can't come in. But we are children and we want to see how TV is made. Oh, in that case, in you go. Thank, Thank you. you. Ooh! Wow! wow. Hello there. Here is Miss Rabbit. Have you come to see how we make television? Yes. Very good. Follow me. <laughs> Look, it's a potato. Hello, everyone. Hello. You see, he's not tiny. He's big. We're ready for you now, Super Potato. The show must go on. This is where the magic happens. It's not magic, it's science. You're a bit of a clever clogs, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> OK, we're ready to go. Light, camera and action. Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. And cut. That was amazing! The camera now turns all of that into magic bits. Electromagnetic signals. That go to a thingy on the roof. Television transmitter. The thingy... Transmitter. ...sends the magic bits across the sky to the TV aerial on your roof. Unless you have a cable or a dish. And down into the TV. Susie Sheep and her mummy are at home watching television. Fruit and vegetables keep, keep us alive. alive. Always, Always remember, remember to eat your five. Would any of you like to be on TV? Yes, please. We just have to put you in front of the camera. OK. Action. What do I do? Just say something. Anything. OK. I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother, George. Wow! Peppa and George are on TV. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Peppa, it's for you. Peppa, I can see you on TV. <laughs> Am I tiny? Yes, you are tiny. <laughs> this is fun. Can I be on TV again? Of course! Now we've recorded that, you can be on TV every day! Hundreds and hundreds of times! Hooray! <laughs> Peppa loves TV. <laughs> Everyone loves TV. Children's Festival. Peppa is going to a children's festival. Daddy, what is a festival? It's a big outdoor party with lots to see and do. I just hope it doesn't rain, otherwise it can get a bit muddy. Don't worry, it won't be muddy. Oh, I like mud. This is the Children's Festival. Wow! wow. <laughs> Welcome to the festival! At the Children's Festival, there are so many fun things to see and do. <laughs> Here is Susie Sheep. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. Isn't this great? It's brilliant. There's so much going on. What shall we do first? We've got making things, sandcastles, storytelling. Yes, I like stories. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> this is the story tent. All of Peppa's friends are here. Hello, children. If you want a story about a pirate, say, Aha! Aha! Good. Once upon a time, there was a pirate. He found a desert island and he dug up some buried treasure. The end. <gasps> what an adventure! That story makes me miss the sea. 
I must set sail at once and find that desert island. Captain Dog loves the sea. It's just the story, Daddy. You don't need to set sail. Oh, yes. No need for me to set sail ever again. I like the children's festival. Yes, and not a drop of rain. We've been really lucky this year. Oh, oh, I told you it wouldn't be muddy. A little bit of mud would be nice. This way to the making things tent. <laughs> <laughs> um, today, we're going to learn how to make something from the olden days. Who wants to make a basket? Hmm. Okie dokie. How about knitting an olden days hat? How about a dragon? Me, me, me. All the children are making dragons. <laughs> wow, those dragons are good. Almost like the real thing. Dragons are not real. They are mythical creatures. You're a bit of a clever clogs, aren't you? Actually, the correct term is child prodigy. <laughs> Making things was fun. And we've still got lots to see and do tomorrow. Tomorrow? Are we staying here tonight? We certainly are. Yes, I was hoping we could find a hotel nearby, but... I thought camping would be more fun. Yay! Camping! Great. <laughs> <laughs> This is the camping area. Hello! Hello, Peppa. Are you camping too? We're not camping, we're glamping. What's glamping? It's like camping, but with lots of home comforts. We've got a bathroom with a basin and a bath and a toilet. <laughs> and we've got a living room. And a TV! Wow! wow. Glamping looks great. Daddy! Are we glamping? No, we have our own little tent. Hopefully, it's not too difficult to put up. It shouldn't be a problem. After all, I am a qualified structural engineer. Mummy Pig, put the tent on the poles, please. That's it. Easy as pie. Hooray! Are you enjoying the festival? It's brilliant! Yes, and it's lucky it hasn't rained. Too right. When it rains, this field just becomes mud. We like mud. But mud and camping don't go so well together. Ho, ho! It's not going to rain. Night, night, everyone. Night, night. night. Peppa and her family are sleeping in their little tent at the children's festival. Oh dear, it is starting to rain. The perfect day! Peppa and her family are going to a shopping centre today. That's a big shop. It's not one shop, Peppa. It's lots of shops all under the same roof. Wow! But we're not shopping today. Not shopping at the shops? No. Mummy's here for a perfect day experience. Ooh! This is Miss Rabbit's spa. Hello, Mummy Pig. Are you ready for your perfect day experience? Yes, I think so. But what exactly is it? Oh, lots of lovely things. You can have a massage. <clears throat> have your fingernails painted. Or have a herbal face wash. Oh, that all sounds lovely. Do we have to do it too, Daddy? No, Peppa. We can go and find our own perfect day. Oh, goody. Bye, Mummy. See you later. Where are we going to find our perfect day, Daddy? Hmm, I don't know. It's just shops and shops and... Ooh, magic moving stairs. That, Peppa, is an escalator. Can we go on it? Yes. Hold my hand. <laughs> Here is Susie Sheep. <gasps> it's Susie! Hello! Hello, Peppa. Where are you going? We're going to the top. Where are you going? We're going to the bottom. <laughs> Peppa has reached the top. Quick, Daddy. I need to go down to find Susie. I'm coming to find you, Peppa. I'm coming to find you, Susie. Ah! You're, you're going, going the wrong, wrong way. way. 
Peppa and George are back at the bottom, but Susie is at the top. I think that's enough escalators for now. But I need to see Susie. Then we can use the lift. Ooh. I need to find Peppa. Then let's take the lift. It's not working. Someone else is using it. We just have to wait. But I need to find... Papa! Susie! <laughs> Pepper and Susie are best friends. Papa, look what I've got. <laughs> Little Susie's in boxes. How did you do that? In the photo booth. I'll show you. This is the photo booth. You sit in here, put the money in there, and then it flashes. It's not flashing. I think it's broken. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> There's more. Smile. When does it flash? Ah, oh, I missed it again. <laughs> you a funny face. <laughs> <laughs> and the last one. Has it finished yet? <laughs> I think I might be in that one. <laughs> Are the pictures? Look at all of those funny faces. <laughs> <laughs> again, again. I think it's time we pick up Mummy Pig. Mummy, did you have a perfect day? Yes, thank you. I did, Peppa. Did you? Yes. We went up and down the magic stairs, and we saw Susie and did some funny pictures. That does sound nice. Home time! Daddy Pig, did you have a perfect day? My perfect day starts when we get home. Daddy, what's your perfect day? <laughs> Come and see! <laughs> Whee! Daddy Pig is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. It's the perfect end to a perfect day! <laughs> in the future. Peppa is at Susie Sheep's house this evening. Mummy Sheep and Mummy Pig are going out. Don't worry, Mummy. We can look after the house while you're away. That's very kind of you, Susie. But we have a special babysitter coming. That'll be her now. <coughs> Hello, everyone. Hello. It's my cousin, Charlotte. Charlotte Sheep <laughs> is the babysitter. Hello, Charlotte. Thanks for coming. We won't be out late. You can watch TV and I've made you some pizza. Oh, thank you. You two be good. We will. Bye. Bye-bye. How old are you, Charlotte? I'm 17. 17? That's very grown up. You can do anything you like when you're grown up. That's right. You can drive a car and even stay up late. Wow! In the future, when you're grown up, you'll be able to do that too. Ooh! But grown ups also have to go to work, you know. That sounds fun. Can we stay up late with you, Charlotte? Sorry, it's your bedtime now. Oh. <laughs> night, night. Sleep well. Night, night. night. Oh. Susie. Yes? Are you awake? Yes. I wish I was grown up. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> When we're grown up, we will be downstairs watching TV and eating pizza. Yes. And babysitting. And going to the cinema. And staying up all night. <laughs> <laughs> In the future, we will have a yellow car. No, blue. Yellow and blue. <laughs> I'll drive. So will I. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Dog will be a spaceman. Yes! I'm off to space. <laughs> and George will be a dinosaur. Dinosaur. Grr. 
<laughs> and Freddy Fox will be a policeman. Hello, hello, hello. What's all this here, then? This is our grown-up car. Can you beep your horn for me, please? <laughs> Very good. Off you go, then. Bye! Bye. What will your job be? I will be a nurse. But in my lunch break, I will fly a plane. Good afternoon, everybody. We are now flying all around the world. <laughs> <laughs> What will your job be, Peppa? My job will be doing important work on my computer. <laughs> <laughs> we will live in a big house with fountains. And a swing. <laughs> <laughs> and I will marry Pedro. Or Danny. And I'll do that too. <laughs> <laughs> and we will live with all our friends. Hello. And all our children will be there. <laughs> <laughs> but who will look after all these children? We will. Bedtime, everybody. Time for your tea. No football in the house. Phew. Phew. Mummy Pig and Mummy Sheep have arrived back home. Hello. Has everything been okay? Yes, everything's been fine. Hello. Are you two still awake? Yes, Mummy. We've been thinking about the future. It's very tiring being a grown up. Yes, it is. <sighs> we need to get some rest. Yes, you do. Good night, little ones. Good night, grown-ups. Pepper and Susie need a good night's rest to be ready for the future. Fire station practice. Today is the Mummy's Fire Station practice day. Hello, Mummy Pig. Are you ready for action? Yes, Miss Rabbit. Mummy, can we stay and watch you practice? Oh, there won't be much to see, Peppa. It's mostly just sitting around and drinking tea. Daddy Pig, we do proper fire service training here. Ready, steady, go is our motto. And to get that right, we need to practice. Yes, stay and watch. Daddy Pig might learn something. This is the fire service control room. Time for a cup of tea, I think. What did I tell you? We need a cup of tea to get ready for the day. In an emergency, we have to be ready in seconds. This first practice will show you just how ready we are. When I ring this bell, the tea drinking stops, the helmets go on, everyone slides down the fire pole... Whee! Whee! ..into the fire engine and off they go. Follow me outside for the next bit. Whee! 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 <laughs> Remember, ready, steady, go. You just saw ready. Now watch our steady. You have to be very steady when using the fire hose. Mummy's ready. Steady, go! Mummy dog fixes the hose to the fire engine. Mummy Pony rolls out the hose and Mummy Pig points the squirty end at the target. Turn the water on. Water on. Steady, Mummy. Steady. The target is hit and the fire is out. Hooray! That looks fun. It's hard work, Daddy Pig. Is it really? Yes. Just feel how heavy this fire hose is. Oh, yes. That is heavy. And that's even before we've turned the water on. Turn the water on. OK. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. It is not easy to hold a fire hose steady. That was hard work. Now you see why we need to be super fit. Yes. yes. And how do we get super fit? On the fire station obstacle course. 
This is the fire station obstacle course. Running through this keeps us fit and healthy. So that in an emergency we can keep going. We've shown our ready and our steady. Now let's practice our go. Ready, steady, go! The first obstacle is the inconvenient wall. Go, go! Woo! Next is the confusing crawling tube. Oh, where am I? <laughs> oh, here I am. Go, Mummy, go! Across the seesaw of general upsets. <laughs> through the tricky tippy toe tyres. One, two, one, two, one, two. Up the sloping rope walk. <sighs> And down the yippee zip wire! Yippee! 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 Oh dear, Mummy Pig is stuck. Ooh. Mummy, are you all right? I'm fine, Pepper. Actually, this mud is quite nice. Stay there, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Yippee! 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 <laughs> Everyone likes fire station practice, especially when there are muddy puddles to jump in. Mandy Mouse's birthday. Today is Mandy Mouse's birthday. As a special treat, Mandy is going to Cheese World with her friends. Mandy, what is Cheese World? It's the most fun ever! There's a cheese river, a cheese mountain and a cheese sky! Wow! And best of all is the cheese castle, where you get to smell cheese! <laughs> you like cheese, don't you, Mandy? Yes, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Cheese World. Have any of you been here before? Yes, I have. Oh, hello, Mandy. Nice to see you back again. <laughs> <laughs> so, as Mandy already knows, everything at Cheese World is about... Cheese! That's right. And we start by sailing on a river of... Cheese! <laughs> this is the River of Cheese. Miss Rabbit, are the boats made out of real cheese? No, the boats are made out of plastic. Boats made out of real cheese would be bizarre. Ah. Oh. The Cheese River flows past hills and trees of cheese. <laughs> this is the Cheese Mountain. Ooh! Is this mountain made out of real cheese? No, but this is exactly what it would be like to sail through a cheese mountain. Oh. If cheese mountains existed. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to the cheese aeroplanes. Wow. Now, has anyone flown one of these planes before? I have. Of course. Hi there, Mandy. <laughs> Can you show your friends what to do? Yes. <laughs> if you pull the lever, the plane goes up. Wow! And if you push the lever, the plane goes down. Ooh! All aboard your aeroplanes! <laughs> up, up, and away! <laughs> this is brilliant! <laughs> There's the cheese sun. <laughs> and the clouds are cottage cheese. I can see the whole world, and it's all cheese. Ooh. Was that fun? Yes! <laughs> Told you it would be the most fun ever! <laughs> Hello, Mandy Mouse. Lovely to see you at Cheese World again. Hello, Grumpy Rabbit. Have you told your friends about my castle of cheese? I told them the castle of cheese was the best bit. Too right. It's where we get to smell real cheese. No pretend cheese here. Ooh. Follow me, if you dare, into my castle of cheese. <laughs> Let's start by smelling a mild cheese. Mm. 
That smells good. I like it too. Not much of a smell. <laughs> now for some decently strong cheese. Ah, that's more like it. A proper stinky one. Ooh, it smells like my daddy's socks. <laughs> and now, boys and girls, we come to the strongest cheese in the whole world. Here goes. <laughs> That's what I call cheese. Mmm, it's the nicest smell I've ever smelt. <laughs> you do so love cheese, don't you, Mandy? Yes, Mummy. I like smelling cheese and I like eating cheese even more. <laughs> Funny you should say that because it's time for your birthday cake. And it's a cheesecake. Happy birthday, Mandy. This is my best birthday ever. <laughs> the Sun Castle. It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper and George have come to the seaside. I'm going to make a sand castle. <laughs> I want to make a sand castle too. And me. Okay, George and me will show you how. <laughs> Put sand in your bucket. Turn your bucket over. Tap it with your spade. Good. Now lift up the bucket. Ta da! Ta da! Ta -da! Pepper, George, <laughs> Mummy and Daddy Pig have made four sandcastles. Yay! Here is Pedro Pony. Hello, Pepper. Hello, Pedro. Do you like our sandcastles? Yes, but it would be better if you had walls joining them together, like this. <laughs> Good idea, Pedro. Yes, lovely walls. <laughs> <laughs> the walls have joined the castle together. Now it's one big sand castle. Wendy Wolf is at the seaside too, with her daddy. That's a good castle. Thank you, Wendy. I like the walls. Nothing like good, strong walls. What are they made of? Straw? Sticks? Bricks? Sand. Excellent. Let's make something in the middle. Like what? How about the biggest sand castle in the world? Yes! yes. We need a heap of sand. <laughs> Wendy, Pedro, Pepper and George are making a hill in the middle of the castle. And on the very top... Ta-da! It looks great. Yes, really good. Now it needs the bobbly bits. What are bobbly bits? All castles have bobbly bits on top of the walls, like this. Ah! Wendy Wolf is using pebbles to make the castle's bobbly bits. And it needs flags. <laughs> Pepper and George are collecting little sticks and some seaweed to make flags. <laughs> it needs windows. <laughs> Pedro is using shells to make windows. <laughs> there. What a fantastic sandcastle. Let's add a moat. What's a moat? You'll see. We dig the moat all around outside the wall. Good idea. Everyone help dig. OK. <laughs> <laughs> and now we have to fill the moat with water. Let's get water from the sea. <laughs> the moat is full of water. The castle's finished. Hooray! I wish it could be my home and I could live in it. <laughs> You're too big to live in a sand castle, Pepper. Here is Mr. Crab. He's come to take a look at the castle. Hello, Mr. Crab. Do you have a home to live in? Oh, he looks sad. <coughs> I don't think Mr. Crab has a home. 
He can live in our castle. Yes, in you go, Mr Crab. Oh, but how does he get across the moat? He needs a bridge. <laughs> George has found a piece of driftwood. <laughs> George has made a bridge. Mr Crab likes the bridge. But he can't get inside the castle. We just need to make a little door. Mr Crab is the king of the castle. <laughs> it's the best sign castle in all the world ever. <laughs> <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit's jetpack. It is a lovely snowy day. Pepper and her family are on a winter walk. What's that noise? It's coming from Grampy Rabbit's boatyard. Here is Grampy Rabbit. Hello, Grampy Rabbit. Hello, Pepper and George. What are you doing? Ah, I've been working on my latest project. Ooh. Ooh. What is it? Well, I couldn't decide between building a sledge or a jetpack. Oh. But as we've had all this snow, I decided to build a, a sledge. sledge. A jetpack. <laughs> it's my personal flying machine. Wow. wow. That must have been very difficult to build. Uh, not really. It's all about calculating the weight to fuel efficiency ratio. Uh, once you've done that, you just bash it all together with a hammer. <laughs> Amazing! Yes, pure rabbit craftsmanship. Does it fly? Well, I've not tried it yet. Let's find out. Safety harness, check. Fuel, check. Cheese sandwiches, check. Uh, could you hold my lunch for me, please? Is it safe? Yes, it's only cheese and bread. No, I mean the jetpack. Of course it's safe. I built it myself. <laughs> Moments from now, I'll be flying high with nothing to see but the clouds and the sky. The clouds, the sky, the clouds, the sky. The... How does it work? Easy. I just press this big red button and... Well, it definitely works. I can see him! Look! Woo! Woo! Oh. <gasps> Grumpy Rabbit has landed on Snowy Mountain! Let's check he's OK. Hello, Grumpy Rabbit speaking. Grumpy Rabbit, are you all right? Yes, I'm fine, but my jetpack is broken. We'll rescue you, Grumpy Rabbit. Thank you, Pepper. Let's call Miss Rabbit's Rescue Service. Hello, Rescue Service. Miss Rabbit, Grumpy Rabbit needs to be rescued. I'll be right there. She'll be right here. Come on up, everybody. Right, to the rescue. Uh, where are we going? To Snowy Mountain. Righty-ho. Trapped on a mountain with just the snow for company. I should have made a sledge after all. Here is Miss Rabbit's rescue service. Saved! I'm saved! Tie this rope around you and we'll carry you home. Ready! Oh, we've run out of fuel. Oh, dear. The helicopter has stopped. Do we need rescuing now? Yes. <gasps> if only we had some other way of getting home. <gasps> Grumpy Rabbit is sliding down Snowy Mountain on his jetpack and pulling the helicopter with him. <laughs> Through the trees, down the high street, Hello, sorry, excuse us. across the frozen sea, and back to Grumpy Rabbit's boatyard. <laughs> that was the best fun ever! Yes, it was! Thank you for rescuing me. I 
actually, Grumpy Rabbit. It was you who rescued us. I suppose I did. I built a jetpack that turned into a sledge. <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit loves jetpacks that turn into sledges. Everybody loves jetpacks that turn into sledges. The electric car. Pepper and George are in their bedroom. Zoom, zoom. Car! George is playing with his toy car. What is it, George? Car! Car! Don't worry, George. It isn't broken. It just needs new batteries. There. Hooray! Daddy's home! <laughs> That's not Daddy. Oh, it is Daddy. Hello. Have we got a new car? No. I'm just trying it out. It looks fun. It's an electric car. It's a car that runs on batteries instead of petrol. Ooh. Just like George's toy car. <laughs> Daddy's got a toy car just like George's. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we go for a drive? Yes, yes please. please. Then let's go. Oh, the car is broken. Does it need new batteries? Oh, yes, of course. We just need to charge up the battery. Look! The battery is charging up. Finished! The electric car is fully charged up. Right. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig! Then let's go! Wow! This car is so quiet. Yes, electric cars are quiet until they start talking. What do you mean, talking? <laughs> it's time you met Roger. Hey, Roger. Hello, my name is Roger. <gasps> Hello, Roger. Hello, Pepper. <laughs> Roger is very clever. He always knows which way to go and he can park all by himself. Wow. wow! I can even drive by myself. Really? really? Sit back and relax, Daddy Pig. Let me drive. OK, if you say so. Ooh. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I am an expert driver. Whee! It's a magic car! <laughs> Stop! It is Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Hello, hello, hello. What's going on here, then? Driving with no hands, Daddy Pig. I wasn't driving. Yes, you were. No, I wasn't. Well, if you weren't driving, then who was? Car driving itself, was it? Yes, yes it, it was. was. Well, I'd better talk to the car, then, hadn't I? Hello, car. Hello. Whoa! What in the wide world was that? He's called Roger and he's very nice. Yes, he can even drive himself. Can you now? Well, to drive on these roads, you need a driving licence. Oh. oh! So, Roger, do you have a driving licence? Oh, of course. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, in that case, everything seems to be in order. Bye! Bye. Drive safely! Roger the car is driving safely. Amazing! Roger can do everything. George's car can sing. Drive, drive, driving along, <laughs> driving while I sing a song. Can you sing, Roger? Yes, I can sing. Car, car, electric car, travelling near and travelling far, knows exactly where you are. Knows exactly where you are. Oh! Where are we? We are now arriving home. Hooray! <laughs> Thank you, Roger. At your service. Will you be all right outside in the night? Oh, yes. I'm used to it. OK, Roger. Sleep well. Thank you, Pepper. You too. Pepper loves Roger. Everybody loves Roger the electric car. Space adventure! Pepper and George are spending the day at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Grandpa Pig! Papa Egg! 
<laughs> Hello, Pepper and George. Bye. See you later. Bye. 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 Hello, Pepper and George. Granny Pig. Granny Pig is wearing a space suit. Why is Granny dressed as a space person? Oh, Granny is playing another little game with her friends. <laughs> I'm doing an important historical reenactment. <coughs> it's about when people first landed on the moon a long time ago. Ooh. Follow me. If you ask me, it's just an excuse to have cups of tea and some cake. System checks complete, Granny. Rocket is ready for blast off. Wow! A rocket! Yes! It's Grumpy Rabbits. He's kindly lent it to us for the day. <laughs> What excitement! I'll just get the rocket ready for its blast off to the moon! <laughs> Granny, are we really going to the moon? No, Peppa. It's just pretend. Ah! We are going to pretend the garden is the moon and do the things they did on the first moon landing. We will plant a flag and we will collect moon rocks. Just be careful of my rockery. Don't worry, Grandpa Pig. We will be very careful. Well, while you play your game, I think I'll make myself useful getting the tea and cakes ready. Have fun. All aboard, everyone. Ten, nine, eight, seven, Oh, well, I suppose six, these harmless little garden five, games keep Granny four, happy. Three, two, one. We Oh, my goodness! Grumpy Rabbit's rocket has really taken off! Why does the game have to be so noisy? Grumpy Rabbit! This was just meant to be pretend! Pretend? What would be the fun in that? So, are we really going to the moon? We certainly are! It's a space adventure of a lifetime! If we're really going to the moon, I suppose our reenactment will be even better. Grumpy Rabbit's rocket has landed on the moon. It's one small step for Granny Pig. And one giant leap for Grumpy Rabbit! Woohoo! Come on, Pepper and George! Whee! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> the moon is Yes, Peppa. We can jump very high on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> These games of grannies. I hope they're not messing up my garden. <laughs> the first people to land on the moon planted a flag to show that they had been there. <laughs> Excellent, George. And they collected rocks. This is a pretty rock. Well done, Pepper. We can take that moon rock home with us. Did Grandpa Pig mention cups of tea for later? Yes. <gasps> I think we've earned it. Let's go home. Three, two, one, and go! The rocket is flying back home. My goodness! Granny's garden game is getting even noisier. Grandpa, Grandpa! How did the game go? We went to the moon. Super! It's true. We really did go to the moon. Of course you did, Granny Pig. And we brought you back a moon rock. Lovely. It will sit very nicely in my rockery. <laughs> I love space adventures. Everyone loves space adventures. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy Pig are taking Pepper, George and Rebecca Rabbit to visit a petting farm. Mummy, what is a petting farm? It's a place where you get to meet tiny little animals. You can feed them and you can stroke them. Ooh! <laughs> I love ickle little animals. There's just one important rule at the farm. <laughs> Before and after meeting the animals, we have to wash our hands. Yes, Daddy Pig! This is the petting farm. Hello there, my lovelies. I'm Mrs Badger the farmer. Hello! Hello. Now, before we meet the animals, 
there's one thing we have to do. We have to... Wash our hands! That's right! <laughs> First, we use some soap. It's all bubbly! <laughs> I love bubbles! And now some water. Wash, wash, wash our hands, wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly, wash them nice and clean. <laughs> What kind of animals have you got here, Mrs Badger? We've got chickens. Here are the chickens. It's time for the chickens' lunch. Would you like to feed them? Yes, yes please. OK, have a bag of birdseed each. <laughs> here, Chicky Chick, come and eat some seeds. <laughs> <laughs> what lucky chickens. Yes, they certainly are well fed. <coughs> now, who wants to hold a baby chick? Me, 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 me! me. <laughs> oh, they're so little. They're so fluffy. They're so sweet. <coughs> it's true. Baby chicks are little and fluffy and sweet. Mrs Badger, what other animals have you got? We've got guinea pigs. Can we see the guinea pigs? Of course. But before you see them, you need to... Wash our hands! That's right. <laughs> <laughs> wash, wash, wash your hands. Wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly. Wash them nice and clean. <laughs> Here are the guinea pigs. Aww, look at their cute little faces. Uh. And their fluffy little bodies. You can pick them up and stroke them if you like. Ah, you are lovely. Adorable, aren't they? <coughs> That's not quite the word I would use. And they make excellent pets. Can we have a guinea pig, Daddy? Please? We haven't really got the space to keep a guinea pig. You don't need much space. Uh, and they probably need lots of looking after. No, guinea pigs are very easy to look after. And I would do all the work. But, Peppa, um, you might not want to do that forever and then... You could always look after it for her. Uh, look at the time. I think we have to be getting home. Oh, yes. Look, Rebecca, there's your mummy. She's come to meet you. Here is Mummy Rabbit with the baby twins, Rosie and Robbie. Hello, Rebecca. Hello, Mummy. <laughs> oh, look, cute little baby rabbits. <laughs> yes, my little baby brother and sister really are cute. Can we cuddle them, please, Mummy Rabbit? Of course you can, Peppa. But there's something you need to do first. Wash our hands. Wash, wash, wash your hands. Wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly. Wash them nice and clean. <laughs> now you can cuddle Robbie and Rosie. <laughs> Have you had a nice time today? Yes, Mummy. We fed seeds to chickens. <laughs> we held the baby chicks. We stroked the guinea pigs. Uh. And now, best of all, we're cuddling baby rabbits. <laughs> Peppa loves the petting farm. Everyone loves the petting farm. <laughs> Peppa and George are spending the day with Granny and Grandpa Pig. Grandpa Pig! Granny Pig! <laughs> Hello! Hello, Mum. Historical reenactment day, is it? Yes! Today I am a Viking. Ooh! What's that? Vikings were people who lived a very long time ago. They had helmets and shields and ran around shouting, Rah! <laughs> <laughs> Vikings too, Granny. Of course. Here are some helmets. <laughs> I'm a Viking. <laughs> roar! Vikey, Vikey, roar! <laughs> Pepper and George love being Vikings. <laughs> See you later. Roar! Bye. <laughs> Pepper and George, come and see what I've made for Viking Day. Granny Pig has made a great big dragon's head. Ooh. It's to go on the front of our Viking boat. Viking boat? Yes. Today we're going sailing with the other grannies. Ho oh, ho! It's just an excuse to have tea and cake. It's not just tea and cake. 
We also have sandwiches and an apple. Here are the other Viking grannies. Hello, Hello Granny, Granny Pig. Pig. Are you all ready for Viking Day? Yes, and these little Vikings are coming too. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Madam Gazelle, why hasn't your helmet got horns on? In actual fact, Peppa, Vikings had helmets without horns, like this. See? No horns. <laughs> but you have got horns. Have I? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Grandpa Pig. Goodbye. Have fun on your Viking boat. Are we going on a real Viking boat, Granny? Not a real Viking boat. We will be using Grandpa Pig's boat instead. I'm sure he won't mind. Here is Grandpa Pig's boat. All aboard, Vikings! Lower the sail. Fix on the dragon head. And you two need real Viking life jackets. <laughs> Are we all ready? Yeah! Then let's go. Oh, how do we start the boat? I'll phone Grandpa Pig. Grandpa Pig speaking. Hello, Grandpa. How do you start your boat? Just press the green button and off you go. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> They're taking my boat. <laughs> ah! My boat! Vikings, onward! <laughs> oh, dear. The picnic basket has been left behind. <laughs> my boat! Ah! Granddad Dog! Follow that boat! Aye, aye, Grandpa Pig! Vikings, 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 we sail across the sea. We like to shout, we like to sing, we like a cup of tea. Ah! <laughs> All this sea air is making me hungry. Hungry! Hungry! Oh, where is the picnic basket? <gasps> We've forgotten the food. But I'm so hungry! And me! And me! Food! 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 food. The Vikings are very hungry. We need to find food! Look, what's that? It is Miss Rabbit's food stall. Food! Food! Wow. Wow. Ah! Vikings! Four teas, two juices and cake, please. Oh, OK. <laughs> They are. Oh, caught you, Granny Pig. Grandpa Pig. You've arrived just in time. Have I? Yes, for tea and cake. Tea and cake. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Vikings love tea and cake. Everybody loves tea and cake. Botanical gardens. Today, Pepper and George are going to the Botanical Gardens. Miss Rabbit is head gardener. Welcome to the Botanical Gardens, where we grow plants from all around the world. Ooh. Our first garden is a wildflower meadow. It will look nice when you've tidied it up a bit. This is what wildflower meadows are meant to look like, Daddy Pig. Ah! It takes a lot of effort to make it look this messy. The butterflies and bees like it. That's right. Wildflower meadows are very good for butterflies and bees. <laughs> Would you like to see the other gardens? Yes, yes please. please. This is the hot house. It's very hot in here. Yes, Peppa. It is where we grow plants that come from very hot places. We have cacti, Ooh. palm trees, ah. and this is a Venus flytrap. Why is it called a flytrap? Because it traps flies. Watch. The Venus flytrap has caught a fly. <laughs> George, let's play Venus flytraps. <laughs> I will be the flytrap and you can be the fly. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Caught you, George. <laughs> now I'll be the fly and you be the flytrap. Buzz. <laughs> George, <laughs> Venus flytraps do not run. <laughs> oh, dear. George is a very sad Venus flytrap. Sorry, George. Let's 
both be flies. Calm down, little flies. It's too hot to buzz about in here. Don't worry. The next room is much cooler. This is our cold house. Is it the North Pole Garden? Sort of. The proper name is Arctic Tundra Garden. Ooh, ice cream. Does ice cream grow at the North Pole, Miss Rabbit? No. Our fridge is broken, so we're keeping them here to stop them melting. Would you like one? Yes, please. Thank you. Pepper and George love ice cream, even in the cold. <laughs> Follow me. This is the rainforest garden. Wow! wow. Miss Rabbit, why is it called a rainforest? We call it the rainforest because it's a forest. And it rains a lot. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I make it rain every hour on the hour. It's nice. The rain in the rainforest is lovely and warm. A room where it rains when you want. We need something like this at home. We've got one, Daddy Pig. It's called a shower. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and through here is Mr Rabbit. Mr Rabbit is in the experiment room. Hello, everyone. My job is to make new plants. How? Well, butterflies and bees do it by taking pollen from one flower to another. The flowers then make seeds that grow into new plants. Mmm, this flower smells lovely. Oh, this pretty flower doesn't smell of anything. When I put the pollen from one onto the other, the seeds made a new flower that smells lovely and looks pretty. Mmm, that does smell lovely. You can do it with vegetables as well. I put this small, tasty carrot together with this big, not very tasty carrot. And made a big, tasty carrot. Uh, no, actually. I made a small, not very tasty carrot. Oh. oh. Would you like to see the children's garden now? Yes, please. <laughs> it has a very special water feature. A fountain? No. A waterfall? No. A great big muddy puddle. <laughs> wow. Come on, George. Whee! Pepper loves all the botanical gardens, especially the muddy one. Christmas at the hospital. It is Christmas Day. Pepper and her family are opening their presents. Ah, yes. Socks. Just what I always wanted. Oh, I've got socks too. Lovely. I wonder if you've got socks, Pepper. Uh, I hope not. Hooray! A toy car! Vroom, vroom. Don't be sad if it's socks, George. Airplane! Yeah. Oh, what a fantastic Christmas! <laughs> yes, all I want to do now is sit back and do nothing for the rest of the day. <laughs> Peppa, George, careful, or you might trip and fall. Ow! My arm! Oh dear, Peppa has tripped and bumped her arm. Hmm, I think we should call Dr Brown Bear. Dr. Brown Bear speaking. A bumped arm, you say? And on Christmas Day, I'll be right there. So, Peppa, bumped your arm, have you? Yes. Can you wiggle your fingers? That's very good. But just to be safe, we'll take a trip to the hospital. This is the hospital. Miss Rabbit is the nurse. Who's next? That will be me. Wait, we have a sick child. Oh, a child. A child, yes. That's more important than me. Miss Rabbit will take you from here, Peppa. Yes, just follow me, please. Oh, Miss Rabbit, the hospital is all Christmassy. Looks lovely, doesn't it? Hello, Peppa. Oh, hello, Pedro. Why are you here? I bumped my arm. I banged my leg and I got a sticker. Wow! Sit yourself down and tell me where it hurts. Here, on my arm.
Can you wiggle your fingers? A little bit. Can you say banana? Banana? That was a joke to make you feel relaxed. <laughs> Do you feel relaxed? Yes. Good. We just need to take a picture of your arm with the x-ray. Ooh, what's the x-ray? It shows us the bones inside your body. How does it work? It uses a cathode and anode controlled beam of electromagnetic... It's magic! Ooh! The x-ray shows your arm will be fine, Pepper. And for being so brave, you get a sticker. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> Look, I got a sticker. That's nice. Oh, Pedro, you look sad. I'm sad because Father Christmas hasn't been. What? Haven't you got your Christmas present? No, not yet. Right, who's next? Ah, oh, good. At last. Ho, ho, ho. <gasps> Father, Father Christmas. Christmas. Father Christmas. Yes, he's much more important than me. <gasps> Father Christmas. Sit yourself down, Mr Christmas, and tell me where it hurts. Oh, no. I'm not here because I'm ill. I'm here with Pedro's Christmas present. Thank you. I wonder what it is. Hopefully it's not socks. Hooray! A toy boat. Sorry I'm a bit late, but I got my tummy stuck in a chimney. Those chimneys get smaller every year. Oh, dear. Tummy stuck in a chimney? Maybe I should just give you a quick check-up. Open wide. Say ho, ho, ho for me, please. Ho, ho, ho. Good. You're fine. Have a sticker. Thank you, Miss Rabbit, for looking after everyone at Christmas time. Just doing my job, Father Christmas. Just doing my job. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Grandpa Pig's birthday. Pepper and her family are dressed in their very best clothes. <laughs> Today is Grandpa Pig's birthday. A party, a party, we're going to a party. You know, it's not really a party, Pepper. What do you mean? It's just a nice quiet meal in a restaurant on Grandpa Pig's birthday. And you haven't been to a restaurant before, have you? No. So that will be fun, won't it? Yes. <laughs> Pepper and her family have arrived at the restaurant. Ooh, this is nice. <laughs> we can sit here. No, Pepper, come back. Why? We have to be shown to our table by the waiter. <clears throat> have you booked a table? We're with Grandpa Pig. Please, uh, follow me. Hello. 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 Are you here for the party? Shush, Pepper. These people are having their own meals. And remember, it's not really a party. Oh. Peppa! George! Happy birthday, Grandpa! <laughs> Is this my birthday card? Yes. We made it ourselves. It's lovely. But it's sad it's not a real birthday party. I think I'm a bit too old for a real party, Peppa. <laughs> I think Grandpa would rather have a nice, quiet meal. With party hats. <laughs> oh, Peppa, that's not a hat. It's a napkin. The napkins are to stop food and drink getting on your best clothes. <clears throat> would you like to order drinks, madame? Could we have a bottle of water, please? Of course. Can I get you anything else? Party hats, please. Party hats? Yes. Because it is my grandpa's birthday. A grandpa pig's birthday. I'll see what I can do. Pepper, they don't have party hats in posh restaurants like this. Et voilà, party hats. <laughs> oh, party hats. Oh, uh, thank you. Are you ready to order food? Yes, yes please. please. On the menu today, we have dried fish with seaweed cheese, strained carrot on a mussel cuff, or cream of sweet in a vegetable sug. Um, I think I might try the, uh strained carrot on a mussel cough. 
Uh, cream of swede for me, please. Perhaps the dried fish. Uh, same again, please. And for the children? Spaghetti, please. Spaghetti. Pepper and George <laughs> love spaghetti. <laughs> spaghetti is not on the menu, but I will ask the chef. Pepper, you can't ask for things that aren't on the menu. Strained carrot, cream of sweet, dried fish, and for the children, the chef has made spaghetti. Hooray! Spaghetti! Bon appetit! <laughs> mm. Actually, it's my birthday. Could I have the spaghetti too, please? And me. And me. And me. And, and, me. Me. and me. Everybody loves spaghetti. Would you like some cheese on your spaghetti? Cheese! And balloons, please. Balloons? Of course. Mm. Marvellous. Lovely. Balloons! Hooray! <laughs> this is starting to feel like a birthday party. The only thing missing is the cake. Oh! Happy birthday, Grandpa Pig! Blow out the candles, Grandpa! <sighs> Hooray! Birthday party music, please! <laughs> <laughs> This is such fun! <laughs> Happy birthday, Grandpa! <laughs> <laughs> strawberries! Pepper and George are visiting Granny and Grandpa Pig. Come and see the strawberries I've grown. Grandpa Pig has spent days and days growing strawberries. I think you will be impressed. Perhaps we can make some strawberry jam. <laughs> yes, please! <laughs> Pepper and George love <laughs> strawberry jam. <laughs> May I present my strawberry? One strawberry? <laughs> You've grown one strawberry? It will be the best tasting strawberry ever. Why is it hiding in a little house, Grandpa? It is hiding because the cheeky little birds have eaten all the rest. Ah! Uh. You cheeky bird! <laughs> So now there are no strawberries. And we won't make jam. We can still make jam. I know a place that has lots of strawberries. <laughs> it's a strawberry farm. Ooh. So that's where we will go. This is the strawberry farm. Hello there. Have you come to pick strawberries? Yes, Miss Rabbit. Then you've come to the right place. We've got nothing here but strawberries. Wow! So many strawberries! Pick as many as you like. <laughs> here is Pedro Pony with his mummy and daddy. Hello! Hello, Pedro. Have you picked a lot of strawberries? Yes, but my mummy and daddy keep eating them. Oh, is this the way out? I never want to see a strawberry ever again. How strange. I suppose some people just don't like strawberries. <laughs> Picking strawberries is fun. I must say, these strawberries do look lovely. But the real test is if they taste any good. Actually, that is rather good. Mmm, yummy! I love the strawberry farm. Strawberry, strawberry, juicy, red and sweet. Strawberry, strawberry, they're so nice to eat. Mmm, scrumptious. But remember, everyone, we're here to collect strawberries to take home and make jam. Put them in your baskets and try not to eat too many. Yes, yes Granny, Granny Pig. Pig! I'll just have one last one. <laughs> I suppose one more won't hurt. Naughty Granny! Naughty Grandpa! Right you are, Peppa. This really is the very last one. <laughs> I can't stop eating them. Hello, birdies. Have you come to eat the strawberries? The little birds do not want to eat the strawberries. Perhaps they have just eaten too many, Peppa. <coughs> Yes, I think I've eaten too many. Oh. Peppa's basket is full. George's basket is full. Granny and Grandpa's baskets are empty. Granny, Grandpa, where are your strawberries? Oh, 
in our tummies. Maybe it's time to go home. Here is Danny Dog with his mummy and daddy. They have just arrived at the strawberry farm. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Danny. Look at all these strawberries. Oh, don't say that word. What? Strawberries? Oh. How strange. I suppose some people just don't like strawberries. I see you've picked a lot of strawberries. Oh. Where's the way out? The way out is just through the gift shop. What do you sell in your shop, Miss Rabbit? Strawberry cake, strawberry cookies, strawberry cheese, strawberry juice, strawberry sweets, strawberry... Anything without strawberries? Uh, no. I think we've had our fill of strawberries, thank you. Funny, no one ever buys anything from this shop. Miss Rabbit, look at how many strawberries we picked. <laughs> well done, Pepper and George. Now we can make strawberry jam. Oh. <laughs> Pepper and George love strawberries. Everyone loves strawberries. Chinese New Year. It is another day at Playgroup. Good morning, children. Good morning, Madam Gazelle. Today we celebrate Chinese New Year. What's that? It is when we welcome in the new year with parties and dancing and fireworks. Ooh, we, we love, love fireworks. Hello, Madam Gazelle. Where do you want these fireworks? Put them on the next hill, please, Mr Bull. Okie dokie. Children, before we celebrate Chinese New Year, we must sweep up. Why? We must sweep out the old year before we welcome in the new year. <laughs> Finish, Madam Gazelle! Lovely. Now, we must be careful not to sweep anymore, so please hide all the brushes. <laughs> all the children are hiding their brushes. Madam Gazelle, why do we hide the brushes? So we don't sweep away the good luck that the new year brings, Pedro. Okay. When you have good luck, nice things happen. Ooh. Can I have some good luck, please? I mean, I mean. They say if you wear something red, it will bring you good luck. Peppa and her <laughs> friends pick something red to wear. I'm wearing lucky red shoes. I'm wearing a red hat. I'm wearing a red scarf. And my red dress. Oh, a red scarf and a red dress? That will make you extra lucky, Peppa. That's not fair. I want to be extra lucky too. If I am extra lucky, I will share it with you, Susie. <coughs> Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are best friends. Now, to celebrate the new year, we will have a dragon dance with a big dragon like this. Ooh! Is it a scary dragon? No, Danny. It is a super friendly dragon. Where is it? We are going to make it. What's that? It looks like a sausage. It might look like a sausage now, but soon it will be a magnificent dragon. How do we make the sausage look like a dragon? With cardboard and paints, ribbons and your imagination. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are making a dragon. I'm giving the dragon scales like a fish. I'm giving the dragon googly eyes. <laughs> We're giving it the horns of a bull. Bull? Oh, that reminds me. Hello, Mr. Bull. Will the fireworks be ready for the dragon dance? Oh, yes. <laughs> Nearly done. The dragon is finished. Hooray! Now, who wants to carry the dragon? Me! me, 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 me. Who wants to carry a lantern? Me, 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 me. We need music too. Who wants to bang a cymbal or a drum? Me, 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 me. And I have made a lion costume to lead the dragon dance. Ooh. But who's going to be the lion? Ooh. The fireworks are ready, Madame Gazelle. Mr. Bull, would you like to be a lion? It would be an honour. Hooray! <laughs> The dragon dance has begun. This is fun! 
<laughs> the parents are here to see the dragon dance. Wow, this is amazing. Yes, but where are the fireworks? Oh, the fireworks! I almost forgot! Oh. What a lovely firework display! Hang on! There's more than that! Wow! This is the best Chinese New Year ever! Peppa loves Chinese New Year! Everybody loves Chinese New Year! <laughs> Miss Rabbit's relaxation class! Mummy Pig is working on her computer. <laughs> Peppa, George and Daddy Pig are getting ready to go out. Peppa, are you ready for playgroup? Yes, Daddy. I just need my shoes. <laughs> George, remember you're going to a children's party? <laughs> Have you seen my briefcase? I'm sure I left it in here. You're holding it. Oh, yes. Oh, oh. <laughs> We're off now. Bye. 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 Ah, lovely and quiet. Now I can work on my computer. Mummy Pig likes working on her computer. Hello? Hello, Mummy Pig. Are you doing anything today? I'm working on my computer. Oh, that's not good. Computers make you stressed. You need to come to my relaxation class. Relaxation class? What's that? It's where you learn to unwind and find your inner happiness. You'll feel amazing afterwards. Actually, that does sound nice. Great! See you at the sports centre. This is the sports centre. Miss Rabbit is in charge. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Mummy Pig. I'm here for the relaxation class. Hello, sports centre. Relaxation class is through that way. You want to book a bouncy castle? No problem. Hello, is this the relaxation class? Yes, we're all here to find inner happiness and calm. Hello, welcome to the relaxation class. It's all about leaving stress behind. So please turn off your phones. Relax your bodies. Empty your minds. Hello, Sports Centre? OK, I'll be right there. Back in a mo. Just keep relaxing while I'm gone. <laughs> Hello, children. Hello, Miss Rabbit. We've come for our gym lesson. Yes, the children are very excited. <laughs> Fantastic. I'll just set up the gym for you. Don't mind me. Just keep relaxing. Oh, hello, Peppa. I've come to do a class. Me too. See you later. <laughs> now, where were we? Uh, we were just starting to relax. Oh, yes. Think of a beautiful woodland glade. Stillness. Silence. <laughs> Children, are you ready for your gym class? Yes, yes Madam, Madam Gazelle. Gazelle. What's that? I can't hear you. Surely you can shout louder than that. Yes, yes Madam Gazelle! Good! I want to see lots of jumping and climbing and running. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Slow down. Quicker, quicker! <laughs> Calm, harmony, stillness. Jump, jump, jump! Relax! Mummy Pig, what are you doing here? I'm doing a relaxation class. Well, I hope this children's party doesn't disturb you. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Peppa. Oh, oh, this is fun. I wonder how I can go. Just try to relax. Stop relaxing now. Relaxation class is over. How did you find it, Mummy Pig? Very, very stressful. Funny. That's what everybody says. 
Why don't you have a go on the bouncy castle? Yes, I think I will. Whee! This is wonderful. I feel lovely and relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig loves bouncy castles. Everybody loves bouncy castles. <laughs> pizza, pizza! <laughs> it is almost lunchtime at Pepper's house. What does everyone fancy for lunch today? Um, can we have pizza? Pizza, pizza! Good idea. Let's make pizza. Ho, ho! I'm a bit of an expert at making pizza. Can George and me help? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> to make pizza, we need flour, tomatoes, cheese, and for toppings, we've got all sorts of nice things. Sweet corn, mushrooms, olives, pineapple. <laughs> George likes pineapple on his pizza. Ah, pineapple on pizza? No, that's just not right. In fact, I think pineapple on pizza is against the law. <laughs> Silly daddy. <laughs> it is actually not against the law to put pineapple on pizza. Um, daddy, can we make funny faces on top of the pizzas? Of course we can. But before we start cooking, we have to wash our hands. Wash, 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 wash our hands, hands. Wash them nice and clean. clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly. Wash them nice and clean. <laughs> Let's wipe the table clean. And put our aprons on. <laughs> right. Let's make pizza. Pizza, pizza. Peppa, George, could you please mix this flour and water together with your fingers? <laughs> it's all sticky and stretchy. <laughs> Perfect. I'm just going to knead it. We sprinkle a little flour on the table so the dough doesn't stick. You need to be big and strong to knead dough. <laughs> I am big and strong. <laughs> And George is big and strong too. <laughs> okay, that's enough kneading. Let's make the dough into four balls. One, two, three, four. And we roll them flat with a rolling pin. Ah, it looks like a pizza now. <laughs> but an expert pizza maker doesn't need a rolling pin. Watch this. Hoopla! <gasps> <laughs> Daddy has a pizza on his head. Ho, oh, oh, ho! This one can be mine. <laughs> Pepper, George, please smooth the tomato over the pizzas. I like making pizza. It's lovely and messy. Good. That's enough smoothing and splashing. Now for the cheese. Remember, Daddy, we're making funny faces. Of course. I'll use mushrooms to make eyes and olives for the smile. And I'll use onion for eyes and basil leaves for the mouth. I'm doing little tomatoes for the eyes and sweet corn for the mouth. <laughs> George is using pineapple for the eyes and cheese for the mouth. <laughs> I like funny faces. While they cook, we can tidy up all this mess. Um, you and Mummy can tidy up, and George and I can do some playing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Pepper and George like playing. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy Pig like tidying up. <laughs> Pepper! George! Lunch is ready! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy! Your pizza looks like you. Oh, thank you very much. And your pizza looks like you, Daddy. It looks nothing like me. <laughs> I must say, your pizza does look like you, Pepper. Does it? Oh, goody. And George's looks like George. <laughs> <laughs> These are the best pizzas in the world. Ever. Pepper loves pizza. Everybody loves pizza. Looking for things. Pepper and her family are in the kitchen. Mummy Pig is making an apple pie. Is the apple pie ready?
ready yet, Mummy? No, Peppa. It has to cook in the oven. Well, it looks like we'll just have to wait. Yes. What are you all doing? We're waiting for the apple pie. Well, it's going to take time to cook. <coughs> Why don't you all wait somewhere else? Oh, oh okay. okay. What do we do now? Well, I was going to do my crossword puzzle, but I can't find anything to write with. We'll find you something, Daddy. Come on, George. <laughs> <laughs> George, we need to find something for Daddy to write with. <laughs> George has found Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> you can't write with Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> George has found a toy train. And you can't write with a train. Oh. Look, a crayon. <laughs> Daddy can write with this. <laughs> Come on, George! <laughs> Daddy, we found something to write with! Oh, a crayon. Just what I needed. Thank you, Pepper and George. Hmm. Ah! Oh. Can we look for something else? OK, let's play a looking game. Find something that is the shape of a square. A square? Yes. There must be something square-shaped in this room. Can you see a square, George? George has found a clock. Hmm. That's a circle. Oh. We need to find a square. That picture is a square. Ha-ha. <laughs> Very good. You found a square. Hooray! What should we look for now? Now you must find something that makes a squeaky noise. Something that makes a squeaky noise. Try looking in the bathroom. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Look for something that makes a squeaky noise, George. George has found a towel. Towels don't squeak. <laughs> Towels are very quiet. Oh. <laughs> squeaky. The rubber does. <laughs> that makes a squeaky noise. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, look what we found. Oh, oh, excellent. Now see if you can find something the colour of blue. Something blue? OK. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George have found a ball. That's not blue. That's red. Oh. Pepper and George look in Mummy and Daddy's bedroom. Aw, there's nothing blue here. Pepper and George look in the office. Everything is not blue. Did you find anything? There is nothing in the whole house that is blue. Hmm, have you looked in the mirror? Daddy, the mirror is not blue. <gasps> blue! What is it, George? Blue! <laughs> George is blue! That's right! <laughs> <laughs> Peppa! George! Mummy, Mummy! We've been looking for things! Oh, I've got something you can look for. What is it, Mummy? It's round. A ball! Round and flat on top. A bit like a hat. A hat! And it tastes yummy. The apple pie! Yes, the apple pie is ready. Hooray! Yay! I love looking for things. And I love finding things, especially when it's apple, apple pie. pie. <laughs> <laughs> Windmills. Today, Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. It is playtime. Play nicely, children. Oh. Here is Mr Bull. Morning, Madam Gazelle. Sorry about the noise. What noise? That noise! We've got a big job on this hill. Uh, thank you for your patience at this time. Madam Gazelle, what is Mr Bull building? 
I don't know, Pepper. Let's watch and see if we can guess. <laughs> Mr. Paul has a big drill. He's digging a big hole. He's making a swimming pool. A, a swimming pool! pool. Hooray! No, that's not a swimming pool. It's a rocket. A, a rocket! Hooray! But it's got petals. It's a big flower. A big flower? Oh, it's a windmill. Yes, Peppa, it is a windmill. To make electricity. Edmund is right. Edmund Elephant is a bit of a clever clogs. <laughs> <laughs> the windmill uses wind to make electricity. How? Well, the wind spins the top bit around and electricity comes out the bottom. Ah! Oh. Madame Gazelle? Is electricity good? Oh, yes, Susie. We need electricity to power things like lights, television, and music. Ah! Back inside, children. <laughs> <laughs> Can we make windmills, Madam Gazelle? Yes. We will need paper and glue and some straws. Let me show you all how to make a little windmill. First, you fold a square piece of paper, like so. We make a little snip from each corner, put a blob of glue in the middle of the paper, then we fix one side of each corner to the middle. Now, all we need is a straw and a paper fastener to fix our paper windmill. There, a windmill. Wow! Now it is your turn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make a green windmill. I'm going to make a red one. <laughs> I will make a big one. <laughs> First we fold to the corners. Then a grown-up can do the snipping. Next we put a blob of glue in the middle. Then stick it all down. Just one side of each corner, Freddy. Now we pin it to the straw. Maybe I should do the pinning, Pepper. There. <laughs> it's a spinny windmill. Is everyone's windmill spinning? Yes! 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 yes. yes. Mine's not. Edmund has built a big windmill. I can't blow hard enough. Maybe if we all blow together. <gasps> wow! It's as big as Mr. Bull's windmill. Let's go and see how he's getting on. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bull's windmill is finished. Wow! Are you making lots of electricity, Mr. Bull? Yes, and we're using the electricity for something very important. Mr. Bull is boiling a kettle. Tea break, lads! All the electricity from the windmill has made a pot of tea. Oh, lovely. That hits the spot. Mr. Bull and his friends like tea. What a wonderful windmill, Mr. Bull. And how useful it is. <laughs> Windmills are brilliant! <laughs> Peppa loves windmills. Everyone loves windmills. Father's Day! Today is Father's Day. It is the day when everyone thanks their daddy for being their daddy. Ah, what a great day to be a father! Mummy, can me and George play in the garden today? Of course, Peppa. I might do some weeding. Well done, Mummy Pig. This garden could do with a bit of a tidy up. And, uh, what are you going to do today, Daddy Pig? The grass needs cutting. Uh, I think I will just be a father today. Can you be a father and cut the grass? You've all forgotten, haven't you? Forgotten what? It's Father's Day, when daddies get thanks and cards and sometimes cake. Is it like Mother's Day? Sort of, although Mother's Day is a real day and Father's Day is a sort of made-up modern thing. What do you mean? It's exactly like Mother's Day, but for daddies. 
Poor Daddy, we forgot. Yes, sorry Daddy Pig. What would you most like to do on your special day? Um, could I watch some racing cars on TV? There you go. Fantastic. Daddy Pig loves watching racing cars on TV. Ah. Pepper, George, it would be really lovely if you made Daddy a Father's Day card. Yes! <laughs> Here is Daddy in the garden, <laughs> in the long grass. Wonderful! What do you want it to say inside? To you, Daddy, you are the bestest Daddy in the whole world. Well done. Kiss, kiss. Lovely. Hmm. It just needs one more thing. Glitter. Oh, uh, I'm not sure it needs glitter, Pepper. Yes, it does need glitter. Uh, I think the glitter is lost. Found it. Someone has put the glitter high up on top of the fridge. Oh, well done for finding it, Pepper. Ah. Oh. This is nice. Happy Daddy's Day! <laughs> oh, what a lovely card. Open it. Ah, glitter. Yes, we used all the glitter. How wonderful. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves glitter. Everyone loves glitter. <laughs> now, let's make a Father's Day cake. What can we put in the cake? <laughs> yes. George, Daddy does like cereal. <laughs> and tomato ketchup. <laughs> I'm not sure Daddy Pig likes ketchup in cake. Daddy does like ketchup. <laughs> Everyone likes tomato ketchup. Cheese. Yes, George. Daddy loves cheese. <laughs> oh, oh, what's going on here? <gasps> Daddy, don't look. It's a surprise. You were supposed to be watching racing cars on TV. I thought I would get up and do something. You could always cut the grass. Daddy can't work on Daddy's Day, Mummy. Thank you, Peppa. You can give me and George piggyback rides. Ah. <laughs> oh, oh. It's hard work not working. <laughs> now it's time for your tea party. This way, Daddy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Would you like some tea? Thank you, Pepper. And is there any cake? Oh, yes, the cake. Mummy! Please bring the cake. Here it is, Pepper. But I'm not sure it's the sort of cake that can actually be eaten. Yes, it is. It is the best cake ever. George and me made it all ourselves. Fantastic. I can't wait to try it. Mm. What's in it? All your favourite things. Mmm, tasty. Did you have a nice day, Daddy? <laughs> yes, Pepper and George. It was super. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves Father's Day. Everybody loves Father's Day. Muddy Festival. Pepper and her family are in their little tent at the children's festival. It has been raining all night and the whole field has become mud. What's it like out there, Daddy Pig? Is there any mud? Um, a little bit of mud, yes. Oh, my goodness. Wow! So much mud! <laughs> yes, well, it does say it can get a tiny bit muddy here sometimes. A tiny bit muddy? I've never seen so much mud in all my life. It's brilliant. Yes, <laughs> and we've got a whole day at the festival ahead of us. At the children's festival, there are so many fun things to see and do. Hmm. Let's start with making sandcastles. Yippee! Sandcastles! <laughs> this is the sandcastle area. Who likes making sandcastles? Yay! <laughs> now, you might have noticed it's been raining. So instead of sandcastles, we're making mud castles. Hooray! First, fill your buckets with mud. <laughs> Turn your buckets over. Give them a tap. Lift your buckets. Mud castles. <laughs> I like mud castles. Mud castles are the best. 
Well done, Miss Rabbit. How did you ever come up with the idea for mud castles? Simple. It rains every year, so we always make mud castles. Ah. So what do we want to do next? How about painting pictures? Yay! This is the painting tent. <laughs> Today, we're going to paint pictures. And instead of paint, we're using mud. Ooh. We've got lots of brown mud and greenish mud. I even found some blue mud this morning. Hmm, what's best to paint with mud? I know! <coughs> a muddy puddle! <laughs> the children are painting mud pictures. <laughs> Daddy, what are we doing next? Something that's fun. <coughs> Learn all about concrete in the olden days. <sighs> that sounds a bit boring. This is the history of concrete area. OK, so who wants to learn about concrete? Hmm. Okie dokie. Owing to the current mud situation, I've got a better idea. Who wants to do some puddle jumping? Me, me, me! <laughs> My most favourite thing in the whole world is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. And if we're going to jump in puddles... We must wear our boots. That's right. Are you ready? Yes. yes! Then jump! <laughs> oh, oh, my turn! <laughs> Daddy Pig has covered everyone in mud. <laughs> Although I say it myself, that was a good puddle jump. Well done, Daddy Pig. But maybe that's enough mud for one day. Yes. Next up is dancing. Oh, good. I love dancing. Dancing in mud. Great. Hooray! Here is Madame Gazelle with her band. Hello, everyone. Are you ready to dance? Yes! yes! Dance, dance, dance in muddy puddles. Splish, splash, splash, splish, splash. Give them big splash here and a big splash there. Give a splash, there a splash, everywhere a splish splash. Dance, dance, dance in muddy puddles. Splish splash, splash, splish splash. Yay! This is a very muddy festival. Peppa <laughs> loves the muddy festival. Everyone loves the muddy festival. World Book Day. Pepper and her friends are at Playgroup. Children, tomorrow is World Book Day, when we celebrate the wonder of books. I love books. Me, me, me too, too. Me, me too. too. Good. Please come to Playgroup dressed as someone from your favourite book. Can I come as Super Potato? Is Super Potato in a book? No, he's on TV. No, it must be a character from a book. Can I come as someone from a fairy tale? Yes, it can be any book you like. <laughs> Remember your costumes for World Book Day tomorrow. <laughs> mummy, Mummy, it's World Book Day tomorrow and we have to dress up as someone from a book. That sounds exciting. Who are you going to be, Pepper? You've got lots of books to choose from. Yes! <laughs> I can go as a sleepy princess from this book. Yes, I love reading you this story. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there lived a... Or maybe I can go as the red monkey. <laughs> I love that book too. Hmm, I can't decide. All the books are good. Why not go as Funny Onion from the book that Mummy Pig wrote? No, Daddy. It has to be a real book, not Mummy's book. <laughs> Thank you very much, Peppa. Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. 47685931 most of Mummy Pig's book is one big long number. Yes, there were a few printing problems. How about this book? The Tiny Magic Fairy. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a tiny magic fairy. <laughs> and George, what's your favourite book? 
dinosaur. Of course, your pop-up dinosaur book. <laughs> well, that's settled. George will go to World Book Day as a dinosaur and Peppa will go as a tiny fairy. Or maybe a duck. Quack, quack. It is nearly bedtime. Aha! I'm the happy pirate from the pirate book. <laughs> Pirates are my favourite because they are funny and they sing happy songs and... Brush their teeth? Yes, brush their teeth. <laughs> are we all ready for World Book Day tomorrow? No. <laughs> my favourite book keeps changing. Oh, oh, don't worry, Pepper. You can decide in the morning. Today is World Book Day. Oh, my! What wonderful costumes! Tell us, Pedro, who are you? I'm the hunter from Little Red Riding Hood. He's strong and brave and kind to old ladies. Very good. And I am Dogbeard the Sailor from the adventures of Dogbeard the Sailor. And why is he your favourite? Because he's strong and brave. And I think he might be kind to old ladies, too. Excellent. I'm an old lady. So you are, Candy. But are you not also a witch? Yes, so be careful or I might turn you into a frog. <laughs> <laughs> and you, Edmund? You have come as... The big number from Mummy Pig's book. <laughs> 476,859,312. Oh. What an amazing choice. Ah, George, you are dressed as... Dinosaur. <laughs> but where is Peppa? Here I am. Ooh. What book are you, Peppa? I am all my favourite books. I have fairy wings, <laughs> a pirate hat, Aha! a red monkey tail, <laughs> and quack, quack, duck feet. <laughs> You're a fairy pirate monkey duck. <laughs> Peppa loves World Book Day. Everyone loves World Book Day. Bird spotting. It is a lovely sunny day at Peppa's house. Granny and Grandpa Pig have come to visit. Hello, everyone. I like your funny hat, Grandpa. Thank you, Peppa. Today I'm doing a bit of bird spotting. What's bird spotting? It's Grandpa's latest little hobby. I suppose it keeps him happy. Uh, yes. I look for birds, and when I spot them, I tick them off in my book. Look, this is a robin redbreast. I spotted one in my garden. Ooh! Of course, what I'd love to spot is a very rare bird, like a cuckoo. Never mind, Grandpa. I'm sure you will one day. Yes. In fact, I was um, actually hoping to do a bit of bird spotting before lunch, if that's OK. No problem. Lunch won't be ready for ages. Grandpa, can George and me go bird spotting too? Of course you can, Peppa. <laughs> oh, oh, we'll call you when lunch is ready. The best place to spot birds is where there are trees. Birds like trees. Um, but there aren't any birdies here, Grandpa. Ah, but I know a clever trick. We pretend to be a bird. <whistles> then hopefully a bird will hear our call and fly here. Look, Grandpa, a birdie. Ah, yes, that is a sparrow. A good start. Here are Mr. Stallion and Mrs. Corgi. Ah, Grandpa Pig. I see you're doing some bird spotting. Yes. Us too. We've just spotted one of our rarest birds in the world. A ribbon-tailed bird of paradise. Amazing to find one this far north. Well done. I spotted a sparrow. Oh, yes. A common sparrow. Well done, you. See you later. Bye. Now, um, let's do some more bird calls. I can do a duck. Quack, quack. <laughs> it worked. Uh, I wonder if there's a duck in my book. Mrs. Duck must be in your book. She is very special. Of course she is. Ah, 
Here we go. A duck. And George can do a pigeon. Do your pigeon, George. Look, Grandpa, pigeons. Uh, they seem to have left pigeons out of my book. How are you doing, Grandpa Pig? Spotted any rare birds? Um, we saw a duck and some pigeons. Uh, and I have high hopes of spotting a cuckoo. Peppa, George, Grandpa, lunch is ready. Oh, goody. Bye. A cuckoo, you say? How were you planning on spotting a cuckoo? Oh, you know, uh, I was just going to call cuckoo. <laughs> My goodness, it worked. Well done, old chap. Cuckoo. <laughs> it's inside the house. Oh, that is not a real cuckoo. That is Peppa's toy cuckoo clock. Sorry to barge in like this, but Grandpa Pig has heard a cuckoo. You're in here somewhere. But Grandpa... Quiet, everyone. We don't want to scare the cuckoo away. <coughs> ah! Oh, it's a cuckoo clock. That means I can't tick it off in my book. But, Grandpa, my cuckoo clock is very special. It certainly is. I think you should tick it off. I would if it was me. Uh, what does everyone else think? Strictly speaking, it's... OK, if everyone thinks it's fair... Hooray! <laughs> Grandpa Pig loves bird spotting. Everybody loves bird spotting. <laughs>